I just got back from a three-day camping trip in the mountains in Alberta, and I finally got to plein air paint again. It has been almost a year since I got a chance to get outside and surround myself in nature. Look how stunning the view was. It was literally 360 panoramic mountain views, the spot that we were camping. I decided to bring my acrylic paints. I've been working a lot in oil paint lately, but acrylic just dries so much faster and it's much more convenient for when you're traveling or painting outside. The one issue is that it dries so quickly when it's really hot and sunny out, so I had to pretty much constantly spray my canvas and my palette with just a water spray bottle. I started out by toning my canvas in this orange color and then just sketching and blocking in the darker shadows to figure out the composition that I wanted to capture on the canvas because there was so much mountain and only so much I could actually fit on the canvas. I decided to focus on the peaks that were directly across from me on the lake because they had a lot of dimension to them. You could see there's four or five little peaks really far in the distance that are faded into the background and then there's much more pronounced peaks closer to me in the foreground. Once I was happy with how the composition was all blocked in, I decided it was time to add some color and as always I started with the sky. I love painting skies so much and as you can see it was a really rich blue, cerulean blue color and as I'm painting the sky I like to add the same color to the reflection of the ripples on the water. This just saves me from having to try and remix the exact same colors because often you do see the same tones in the sky and in the water because water really just is reflecting the light from the sky. I find it really helpful to switch back and forth from the lightest and darkest blues when I'm painting water. It just overall tends to look more natural and gives the impression of subtle waves and ripples. This part is so fun when it comes to painting mountains because I can be quite messy when I'm kind of carving out the grooves on the rock faces. As I build color and contrast into the mountains in the foreground, I keep in mind that it should be more intense than that of the mountains in the background. If you've ever really paid attention while you were looking out to an expansive landscape, you might have noticed that the colors are really faded out in the distance. In general, the further things are away from your eyeballs, the more blue or gray they appear to you. And that's just because different colors have different wavelengths and blue is the longest, so that's the one that still arrives at our eyes even over that great distance. Something that feels so special to me about plein air painting is that when I can, I use water from the closest source and that's what I dilute my paints with. So I like to think it kind of captures some of the soul and essence of the landscape in the actual physical art. There are some really awesome things about painting from a real life source or reference and some challenging things. One of the most challenging things I noticed this time was that because the sunlight was so harsh at the beginning of the day and then gradually as the day went on and as I painted the next day, the light conditions were different which completely changed the colors that I was perceiving in real life. So I noticed I kept going back to the painting and kind of changing things up. And here was this beautiful little butterfly that visited me and then it actually ended up landing on my palette. How beautiful is that? And that clearly is one of the perks of painting outside. Honestly, it's one of my favorite parts, being around all of the nature and just immersing yourself in wherever you are. It warms my heart and really puts me at a state of peace. I loved the clouds that came out the second day. They were so fluffy and wispy and blending out with a fingertip is the best way to get the clouds to look really soft and kind of blend into the background. Now you can just see me doing some final touches. I added the bird because there's so many eagles and ravens flying around all day. And I really wanted to capture the whole atmosphere. So the bird and the sparkles on the lake added a little bit of extra magic. And this is the final result. I really hope you like it. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye!